Hey guys and welcome back to Direwolf Wargaming. This time I'll be painting up some sci-fi lizard men from Wargames Atlantic. So for these I've started with a black undercoat. This is because there's going to be a lot of black on the miniatures for the colour schemes. With the first colour scheme I'm going to start with dark green blotches uh, mid to large size blotches all over the lizard man. And on the other one there'll be yellow ochre bands running from the entire arms, over the shoulders, under the neck and across the chest and back and also up the legs and then across underneath the waist and there's two gold bands of yellow ochre put on the tail as well Then after those colours are on, I'll take a light green paint and just put a smaller blotch inside of the dark green blotch so you can still see around the edges the dark green and in the centre you've got the much lighter green. And for the yellow, I'm overpainting the yellow ochre with a richer yellow completely. There'll be no yellow ochre left showing. The yellow ochre is there just to help the rich yellow go over with no streaks or blotches. After putting on the main skin colours for the schemes, I then moved on to gun metal, which is on the rifle and on the face uh, and the gas, gas masks and the any spare clips that are attached to backpacks or on the um, straps and webbing. The loincloths were painted with an army green and so were the cloths on the clips. This is because I want to do a more militarised theme with these guys, make them look like they're in some sort of dystopian future and the lizards have got um, camouflage, loincloths, like a proper military fighting force would. Khaki was then used to go over the backpacks, any little pouches or bags that are on the straps, uh, the straps themselves as well, and again, just going with the military theme for them, I think it looks really good, pops out against the black as well. I then used oak brown to cover the wooden bits on the guns like the stocks and the grips at the front um, and then I put blotches of oak brown onto the loincloths again it's going for that camouflage look so green, brown, cream, things like that And then just to finish off the camouflage, I used a um, skeleton bone, just little uh, splotches on there, near the oak brown, just to make it look a bit camouflage -y and keep up with the military theme. The gas masks was painted a leather brown colour, and I quite like the look of it against the uh, colour schemes as well. Picks out the um, keeps the military theme going, which again, bonus. And then, overall, the 
patches of uh, skin that's black. I use necromancer cloak to go over it and all of the claws and spikes and horns on the figures is also done with necromancer cloak. And then the yellow colour scheme, what I did was blotch over the yellow with bits and bits, little blotches of um, necromancer cloak. It kind of looks like an overripe banana when you're finished. That's the scheme I'm going for with them. A brown wash was then applied over everything. Uh, the brown wash worked really well, it wasn't too, too harsh on the yellow, and uh, it, again, looks really good as an effect. I use a brown wash on most things. Then I use the texture paint to go over the base. The texture paint's lovely, you just apply it with a brush. And then I use the end of my brush to just make little indents into the texture paint and push it back, create little raised areas, just so I've got areas where I can make little muddy puddles through like the jungle set. The bases were then dry brushed with a lighter brown as per normal and I glued on some little um, grassy bush things, not spongy bushes but more like a tropical type bush. And uh, then I use some jungle fluff, which is like glitching and moss and stuff like this, all ground up. And I put the glue away over the base as normal and just pushed in the glitching, and I call it a jungle mix. And it looks really good, it's effective. And then just to finish off the bases, I used gloss mod podge into the little muddy pool areas where I indented with the brush. And that's it.
and these are the finished lizardmen. I really like how I did them. The colour schemes are based on venomous frogs, as I said in my unboxing video. The yellow one is a gold band frog. I think that's what it's called. And the green one is a green poison dart frog. And I got these colour schemes from treehugger.com. It was uh, 16 beautiful but deadly frogs. And I think that it was great inspiration for lizard men. And if you're ever doing any lizard men, going and looking at poisonous and venomous frogs is a great way to get a really unique colour scheme for your lizards. So there you have it guys, two really nice, quick and simple paint schemes to paint any sort of lizard men, doesn't have to be sci-fi like I did. Uh, they're fantastic figures, if you like lizard men I highly recommend you get some of these. I mean, you could use these guys for the new Stargrave that's coming out, which is like Frostgrave but sci-fi. And um, yeah, you can find us on Instagram, it's at Diewolf Wargaming. Uh, we also have a website which is www.diewolfwargame.com where you can find all our MDF products, you can find our blog posts, our pictures of previous work, if you fancy having uh, your figures or vehicles painted by us, then uh, we would also have a painting service, so check that out. And uh, if you like the video, please leave us a like and share it, it really helps us out. Uh, feel free to comment, I'll reply to every comment. And um, yeah, our next video will either be painting more lizard men, another unboxing, which could be a Rune Wars box set, or I might try something a bit different and paint up a vehicle. Let me know in the comments what you'd rather see next. Subscribe and join the pack. Thanks for watching, guys.